Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting into the Empower Age. All right, so we have all the stuff processed. I started working on processing a bunch of stuff. I want to show you some things real quick. We're going to make the Empower today, uh, but I want to show you guys a few things that I done off camera. Um, I went ahead and run this, uh, ran this cable over here. Um, to get this to do this, you have to basically have an empty spot. Uh, so break these and then go ahead and place the wire. Then you can cover it up and the wire will go through the wall. Otherwise it won't work, but it works going through the wall like that. Um, so I just have it going through the wall up on these guys, the uh, wooden posts, which are really easy to make. Go ahead and look that up. Oops. We can go ahead and immersive engineering. And the uh, wooden posts are made just like this. And to get the little, uh, little things off the side, you can do uh, one off this side or one off the other side. Um, it can go on any direction, but uh, you have to have, if you do one on this side, by right clicking with the hammer, you have, you, the only direction you can go is this side with uh, the hammer as well. And you can use these for uh, your relay. So I have uh, one of the other connectors on there and then the hook to a relay. It runs on the top of here through these relays. The reason I'm using relays is because you have to use a relay because there's a connection here and a connection on this side. Um, so I'm running it all the way over here and it is powering this thing sufficiently. And you can see now I'm burning through this stuff. So um, doing real good there. Uh, these guys actually turned off. So what I'm gonna do is split this up individually like this. And what I can do is just throw this in here and uh, it, I may be using some, but um, when the CO2 is maxed out and the O2 is all the way down, this thing produces like crazy. So it's actually really fast. Um, I know some people were saying it's pretty slow, but to be honest, it is really fast. And as you can see, um, it fills right back up with power almost instantaneously. Now this guy, um, it wasn't working at first and it looks like it still has its issues planting saplings um, I do have the bottom I have hopper uh, I have it turned so the output is on the bottom and hook to hopper ducks you kind of see them down there and it's going into this chest and as you can see it's producing quite well um, no complaints and it's using logs to power itself and um, it may uh, it should automatically put the logs in first so it has power I'm okay with it powering itself with logs um, it actually does a pretty decent job with that but yeah as you can see the power lines look pretty neat running across there and uh, also I had a bat box I just never sat it down but um this right here is is going through some stuff we can go ahead and put that there take those out um, I'm actually using redstone so somebody in the comments mentioned to use redstone and uh, yeah, that's actually pretty fast. Um, and if I go ahead and do do it this way, I can use up some of the massive amount of redstone. I have like 700 I've been using it up. Um, but it'll run for a little while. Um, as you can see, it's burning up the uh, redstone. And uh, it's not doing too bad, actually. And it's not going to use any until I put it in there. But it's been getting me through here pretty fast. Um, the only thing I need to get done is these guys so i'm just been putting the stuff in here and vice versa so let's grab some of the things we're gonna need we need some iron plates we're gonna need some gold cables we're gonna need um the advanced alloy this stuff the carbon plates and uh the steel plates the eight black quartz um and I'm sure we're going to need something else later on, but I'll figure it out once we start getting crafting. Okay, so we're going to make the empower. And we're going to need this to get into the next age. Um, so we're going to need display stands. Let's go ahead and start with di the display stands. We're going to need the advanced coil. And that is redstonia around black quartz. So I am going to need some more black quartz. So let's go ahead and take 32 of this and go ahead and get that cooking while we work on the other part of this. So we're gonna need redstonia, uh, which I'm probably gonna need more of. So let's go ahead and throw all this down. Push our button. 
bam, we have that. This thing automatically fills up. Um, as you can see as well, it's still holding tons of power. These guys are producing more power than I thought. Um, so it's producing enough to charge this and that and not even drain uh, out of the battery. So I'm doing pretty good there. there. I, I'm thinking this is close to 140 RF or so that these guys are producing. I do have water flowing underneath the bottom here. Um, and this, I think, is maxed out. I think this is as efficient as it gets. Uh, so that is a plus. Okay. Let's get our quartz. Let's go ahead and make our advanced coils. We're going to need a few of these. So might as well make up as many as I can. Um, and the black quartz, of course, we're going to need eight of those for something else. All right, so let's go ahead and make all 14 of these advanced coils. I'm sure we're going to need them for something later on anyways. Uh, but it uses these gold cables. You can extrude it. That's probably the best uh, way to get, get it because um, it'll give you two. For one um, so we got those we're gonna need to change the quartz one to athletic athletic green block and the other one to athletic quartz so the athletic green block is chiseled so here's our chisel let's go ahead and turn this into the chiseled quartz block you can see this one right here and then the other one just goes in as you see it so we can throw both of these down here Hit our button, and we get both blocks that we need. How cool is that? The aesthetic green and uh, regular quartz. Okay, so I think we have everything to make five display stands, which is how many we're going to need. Uh, one for the main stand, and the other one, other ones are going to be actually used in the uh, empower itself. Okay, so we need to make uh, these iron casings. Um, and I think we have everything to make two iron casings. Uh, I went ahead and processed everything that we needed. There we go. Two advanced machine casings, which is actually the hardest part of it. Um, I hate how hard that is, but, you know, you gotta live with it. Alright, so we're missing iron. And I have it in there. There we go. Okay, so everything is in here. There's our two casings. And now we need to work on the battery. Now that is the needs the uh, a nori block or nori crystal, which comes from the iron in the uh, iron in the uh, atomic reconstructor. Apparently the atomic reconstructor um, recipe was changed. I'm not sure what it was. Ch oh, it requires the uh, enriched gold. It didn't require that last time, and it requires reinforced iron. So that's part of calculator. That may actually be, yeah, I think it made it just a little bit harder to get, um, because you need gold. But we already had ours before the recipe change. I'm, I don't remember if it was harder or easier, but uh, we have it, <laughs> so it's not that bad now. All right, back to the empower. Uh, yeah, I am on version 1.0.1 .1 at the moment, the newest version that has been released. Um, it supposedly fixed a, fixed a few bugs and stuff like that. So um, here's the en energy module with the coil. Um, it shows that we should be able to make it because we have everything. And it, we can make it. Um, but also, if you're having issues with this not working... What you can do is put a little bit of power inside of it. I'm sure just even that little bit amount would work. And you'll get your single battery from that. So that actually worked out fine for me. So I didn't have a problem at all. All right, and then we can get our double battery. Pretty nice. And we just need one redstonia crystal. Wow, that's all we need. And we're fixing to be in the empowering age. Or age of empowerment. Bam! We got it right here. Empower. Empower age. So sweet. We're going to have to put this over here. And that is a pretty sweet looking... Item in there. I mean, that looks... The empower looks really good in there. 
All right. Um, I guess I'm going to put the empower in the middle of our floor. Um, for now. And I was thinking about this time trying to have them raised, so put something underneath them. I don't know how that would look. Um, let me actually get get me some wood, so I can see kind of what that looks like when it's got something on it. It's a little too high. A little too high. Okay. I think we'll just stick it on the floor like always. And uh, from this corner, I put one here. If I come over, this will be one, two, three. One, two, three. So there would be one there. And this would be actually stuck right in the middle. I don't know if I'm going to put this thing. I, I would love to actually have it in here. So I, I'm, temporarily, it's going to go in here. But where at? That's the question. So, right in the middle of the floor, if we put one of the display stands here, right here, our empower would go. And then right here, here, and right on our crafting table. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this. Let's move our crafting table. One of you. We can put our crafting table over here. It is not that important. And throw down our display stand. Okay, now, powering this. Um, there are a few different uh, powering options that we can look at at the moment. Uh, one being lasers, which I think is what I plan on doing. Um, getting some lasers would be really nice. Um, or we could use the wiring underneath here, but I think that'll be pretty slow and kind of drain power from the other stuff. I think I'm going to use the coal generator to power these things. They do use a lot of energy. Um, and a lot of the stuff that we're going to be making uses a lot of energy. So uh, let's see. Uh, underneath, let's see what the, uh, the lasers from Actual Editions cost. Oh. So here are the energy lasers. They're going to use some obsidian, some blocks of redstone, an advanced coil. Okay, so it's not too bad for this stuff. Um, the obsidian, that's the only thing that's going to be a pain for me to get at the moment. I actually have some. Looks like we can make six obsidian, I think. Six obsidian at the moment. Where is my slime sling? Did I put it somewhere and I forgot about it? I hate when my items just disappear. There it is. So we'll take our slime sling. We'll shoot ourselves or shoot ourselves way too far. Whoa. And uh, we'll come over here and make some obsidian. Not too bad. Apparently, you can click this and drain the entire thing in there. So that's pretty nice. All right. So we have six blocks of obsidian. I actually probably need more than that. Um, well, four will power, but... We need one to uh, power all four. So that's going to be something to think about. And we can actually automate them with hoppers. So that'll be easy to do. Alright, four of these will get us what we need. Get us the, the basic, the four. Um, and do I have extra obsidian laying around? No, I don't. All right, um, I'll be right back once I get some more obsidian. All right, so I have all the obsidian. I had to go and get more lava, um, but we have our obsidian and now we can work on making our lasers. So it just requires a bit of redstone. Um, that display stand's gonna kinda get in my way. All right, so I wanna make two sets of those. So I'm gonna need 
looks like some redstonia crystal and just just four blocks of redstone so let's go ahead and turn all these into redstonia anyways because why not all right um and now we should be able to craft this two sets okay so we have energy lasers now that's really nice and uh, all we got to do is go underneath here um, let's have some fun let's go ahead and break all of this okay um, and shovel thank you all right and figure out exactly where we're gonna put our stuff all right so I'm gonna go ahead and pillar up I do have an axe, an iron axe in here somewhere. There we are. I'm not gonna suffer through it like I did last time. Okay, so I do know that these lasers, they will go through blocks. I don't need one on this, but I'm just using it as a reference. The middle block does not get powered. All right, so we can come over here we are going to need the wrench. I'm not too sure how expensive that wrench is. Hopefully not too expensive. Oh, there's not like something that is gated. They're like, hey, before you can use the laser wrench, you have to do blah, blah. Let's check. All right. There is a special wrench that you have to use. This guy. Okay. So, man, um, you know, we could just... You know, take a laser wrench and get a laser wrench. Why not? Why not do that? Why not do a laser wrench to a laser wrench? Okay, so we need... Oh, we already have everything on us. Make it. Perfect. Laser wrench ready to go. Awesome. Uh, the coal. Where do we want to put the coal generator? Where shall I put you? Because wherever I put it is just going to be somewhere where I can keep up with the coal. It may be... Because uh, these lasers, I think, can go up to 16 blocks away. So pretty pretty far distance. Um, probably somewhere where we keep coal. Let's put it right here for now. Um, even though it might be in the way. All the stuff might be... We'll, we'll probably be organized and move later. But uh, for now... We'll put it here. Okay. So let's go under here. And we can hook a laser to the bottom. Okay. And I will pillar up. And now we can click our wrench on here. It says hold a compass to modify. Both directions. No idea what that means. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hook up our power. Okay. So... This guy will hook to it. As, as you can see, it goes through the blocks. Then this one will hook. Actually, I need to do this. Laser stored to this one. Okay. Cannot connect. The relays are either part of the same network. Okay, so it doesn't matter. As long as, as, long as they're on the uh, same network. Of power they'll be fine okay and then this one we'll hook to this one awesome now we have a laser system powering these guys all you have to do is get some of that coke or coal in there and I think I'm gonna use that special coal that good coal that we're fixing to make using coal coke and that will burn a lot longer you know what, let's go ahead and get some. Get a whole stack of this stuff. Because we're basically making free coal at the moment over here. Uh, all we do need is coal coke. I'm kind of not too concerned about charcoal at the moment anymore. Because it seems like coal coke is going to be our best bet. Okay, let's get our calculator. And I think we can do basic regular calculations in here as well. So coal, we need to make enriched coal, coal coke, and this stuff. Will it work in here? No, we have to use the regular calculator for that. Regular calculator, coming up. Let's split it up. I don't want to use all my coal coke. 
for this. That'll automatically give us 5,000 burn time on this. Then we can go up to purified coal, which we need this stuff. How much of the purified do we currently have? We have three. And we need the scientific calculator for that. So we'll take this and add this to it. It'll give us three purified, making it 10,000 the burn time. Now fire coal, scientific calculator with a bucket of lava, gives us 25,000 burn time. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, and we can do that, like right now. Bam, right? No? Can we not get fire coal? Scientific calculator. Enriched. Oh wait, not purified, just the enriched. Oh, so, just enriched. The bucket of lava gives, why, did we, why do we even need purified? We don't even need to do the purified step. Hold, hold. I think that's a uh, a recipe that might be might be wrong. Um, just saying, it probably should go enriched, purified, then fire coal. Yeah, that's probably a mess up recipe. So, you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> might wanna might wanna fix that one, but uh. Because you can go straight to fire coal from enriched coal. I'm sure that's a bug. Um, but we're going to take advantage of it while we can. It looks like it stores its inventory, so that's good. So fire coal. As long as we have lava, we can have fire coal. Okay, we are out of lava. So three fire coal. Throw that in there. That's going to generate power for a long time. Um, so yeah, we just need to get more lava. And uh, I think we'll work on getting more lava next episode. Because right now, using this as a storage container. Um, but for right now, it's not too bad. We can actually go ahead and cover all this up. And uh, these should be getting power. Slowly, but surely. Um, I'll just let this thing build up. Looks like they're all spreading the power evenly which is nice. Uh, more of these coal generators would be nice as well. Um, but for now, this is actually working out pretty nice. And like I said, this is gonna, this one piece of coal is gonna burn forever. Um, yeah, just get that recipe fixed. I think that you meant to uh, have it set up that way. Even, I don't know, it could be a part of calculator itself being wrong. Um, I don't even know if this is supposed to be a part of the scientific calculator at all. It, I mean, the flawless calculator might make more sense. Because, man, bumping up to 25,000 on the burn time? That's, that's ridiculous. That makes me want to turn all of my coal into this and then never have to worry about coal power again. Um, so this is creating 190 RF a tick. So... Yeah, we are looking pretty good. We have our Empower up. Now, some of the stuff that we can make with the Empower, let's go ahead and check our guide real quick before we get out of here. Okay, so the next goal uh, is basically with the Empower from actually additions. It needs a battery, so we've already done that. It says the only is it's coal dust plus coal coke recipe for enriched coal works. Okay, um, there's a, a peat bog earth, which is place that just shows you how to get peat. Okay, crystallized canola siege, or seeds you can get from lasering canola seeds in the atomic reconstructor. Okay, that just shows you how to get your greenhouse set up, which we've done that already. Okay, um, void crystal. You also need four display stands. Okay, and it says crystallized blocks. The atomic reconstructor can be empowered. Wait, blocks you get through the atomic reconstructor. Be oh, can be empowered. Um, 
be aware that those need a lot of power. A lot more than usual. The crystal blocks need several million RF. Um, you can, for now, make three out of the six empowered blocks. Okay, you can, for now, make three out of the six empowered blocks. Redstonia, Palace, and Void Crystal. For the other three, you need to craft the Thermal Centrifuge. Okay. So we can only craft Redstonia, Palace, and Void Crystals. The other blocks we cannot get yet. Uh, I think to get into the farming age is what we need this for. It says you can make the IC2 advanced circuits, which enable you to make advanced tools, machines like the mining laser, thermal centrifuge, and stuff like that. Okay. Um, let's see. There was something that I needed for just about everything. The sturdy casing was needed for everything. Okay, so bronze gear. Okay, you get it like that. Bronze. A large bronze plate. Um, and that's how you get the sturdy casing. It doesn't say how much power. Unfortunately. I don't see a tooltip showing the power. That this is going to require. Okay. Does it say anything about the sturdy casing in here? Alright. Oh, I would love to make the garden cloche. Or cloches. That'd be nice. Um, oh, I remember what I needed that uh, sturdy casing for. Immersive engineering. Um, we need the sturdy case to get the heavy machine block. Where's it at? Right here. The heavy machine block. Oh wait, no. It requires solarium. And to get solarium, you need an alloy smelter. And to get an alloy smelter, you need the sturdy casing inside of a carpenter. Which the carpenter itself, which is used for a lot of recipes, requires a sturdy casing. Okay, so getting this stuff... You know what, I, I would love to do this, but I don't think we're going to have the power to make the sturdy casing. But this is how we get into uh, the farming age, which is uh, age four. So we'll probably do that next episode, get this ready to go. Um, but until then, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also share this with uh, any friends you have that uh, might enjoy this series and uh, loves modded Minecraft. Um, if so, please also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And you know, you guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>